Hey guys, what's going on? Today's a very exciting day. I'm heading to the city to meet up with an old friend, Michael. He's got a bunch of games and I'm finally, finally buying off him. We've had this deal in the works for like three months and our schedules just haven't lined up and we haven't been able to do it. And today's the day. The shirt is very fitting because most of it is Nintendo 64. A little bit of Super Nintendo. I'm not saying anything more. I'm just gonna have to wait and see what I get. But very exciting lot of games. I'm very excited for this. But before we get the deal underway, we gotta eat. I'm hungry! Feed my mouth! Fill my belly! And when you're in the city, there's only one place to go for a real good burger feed. And that's Royal Stacks. So we're gonna roll stacks, we're gonna get fat, and then we're gonna check out these games. So let's go. Tasty food. It's time to go get these games. Okay, go get some games. 65 games. Uh, 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 uh. Let's go get these games. Open. It didn't work. Let's go. Alright, here's the man himself. Got a little bit uh, for you, and then we'll see what we've got. I'm not going to show you at all, but it's pretty obvious what that is. Got some controllers, consoles, some games under there, a few more games in there. That's all I'm showing. We'll get in the car and I'll show you when we get home. I'm home. It's a couple of days later. I've been a little bit lazy, but let's dig into the bulk lot I picked up from Michael. Um, there's a lot here to get through, so I'll be as quick as possible. First up, I'll start with what I consider to be the boring side of it is the PS3 bulk lot. We've got one steelbook, Gran Turismo 6. Um, it's worth like $10, $15. We'll get the, the very low value games out of the way. These I'll be lucky to fetch five bucks each for. Assassin's Creed 1, Resistance, Fall of Man, Killzone 3, Gran Turismo 5, Platinum Print, and Fight Night Round 4. I'll probably end up just bulking those together and trying to sell them off really cheap. Next few games, if I sell, I might get about $10 each. So nothing too amazing, but they're franchises people like, so I might get $10. PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, Little Big Planet, and Mod Nation Races. This next lot of games, not too bad. Each one should get me about $10 to $20 each, somewhere in there. Soul Calibur 4, Mortal Kombat Complete Edition, the one that has Freddy Krueger and Kratos from God of War. Gran Turismo 4, Devil May Cry 4, Ratchet and Clank, Tools of Destruction, Super Street Fighter 4, Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion, and Race Driver Grid. And the last three should fetch me between $20 to $30 each, which isn't too bad. Bad Company Battlefield Gold Edition, Game of Thrones, and last one is the Devil May Cry HD Collection. And because there's always something that's worth nothing, 
I've got the Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition, but no disc. Inside it had Splinter Cell Blacklist, unfortunately. And Grand, Tr Grand Theft Auto 5 uh, came with no disc. So I might look in to see if I can find a cheap disc only copy, but at the end of the day, they're not worth all that much. Okay, before I dig into the games that I'm super stoked about, we will get into this tub. So first off the bat, this tub contains a 64 console with an expansion pack. Randomly it has the man like the manual from when it was boxed. And this comes with all power cords. So it's got the power brick and the RF cord with something I've never seen before. It's an AV to RF like adapter. Never seen that before, uh, but conveniently enough, there's a spare set of RF to AV. And with the console also came one rumble pack, um, and thankfully, no battery acid leak. And with the console comes not one, not two, not three, but four. The number of the day is four. Ah, 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 ah. Four controllers. Um, they all work, but the joysticks are pretty bad on all of them. Um, they need a little bit of a clean as well, but I think they're pretty cool colours. I really like the green, um, but unfortunately, in two of them, I have these memory cards that I can't seem to get out. So I'm gonna have to open up the controllers um, and see if I can force them out, because it's not necessarily bad that they're in there. It's just bad that they don't come out. So I thought this was pretty cool to have a console, four controllers, and especially the expansion pack. And the second and last console of the lot was the one I'm the most excited about, because this one's for me, is a boxed Super Nintendo. A new Super Nintendo. Now you're playing with power, superpower. It comes complete. It's in really good condition, considering age. Um, I've got a couple of marks around it, but they always do now. Um, it's complete, it's got the foam, it's got the insert, it's got the console, the controller, everything that should be in there is in there. And I've already got one, but it's in much better condition than mine, so I'm going to swap them out and try and sell my other one. So, this is my favourite console of all time, I'll have you know, so I'm very happy to have this one. It's beautiful. Right, now let's dig into all the Nintendo 64 games that came with that console, because this is the best part of the pickup by a mile. All right, first up, we will go through the loose games. The loose games that came with no boxes. Road Rash 64 and F1 Pole Position 64, both of which I'm claiming. I don't have those, um, so they're mine. It's mine. It's all mine. We also have Star Wars Episode One Racer which everyone mistakenly calls Pod Racer, and I'm okay with. WCW versus NWO World Tour. Um, some little sh carved out the eyes on the label, but it'll still play. Super Mario 64. And a couple of big ones. Super Smash Bros. in good condition. Donkey Kong 64 in good condition. And Ocarina of Time. In pretty good condition. There's some sticker residue on the front, which I'm going to try and get rid of, but I don't think I'll be able to without damaging the label. Um, it's also got some texture on top. A couple of these games do have like permanent marker on them, which I'll easily be able to get off. It doesn't take too much, just a little bit of time. And I've got a bit of time at the moment, so we'll dig into those soon. All right, next up is a bit of a weird one, which I don't even know how to go about listing. I have Toy Story 2. It was the original box. It's been cut to fit into this custom plastic case. It has a manual, but the manual has no cover. And the cart is there, but it's got a sticker on it and someone ripped off the other sticker, which has ripped the label. And the back is just flooded with stickers. Um, and they're like the metallic ones that you just can't get off. So I think I might have to just throw out the manual 
throw out the, the case really and just try and sell the game super cheap for someone that just wants to play it and doesn't care that it's in bad condition because it's in pretty bad condition. Next one was a weird one in a very surprising way. It was Pokemon Stadium. Big box. I got excited. I opened it up. Unfortunately, there was no cardboard insert. But this is where it's weird. It had a copy of Pokemon Stadium, which you'd expect. But then underneath that, it had another copy of Pokemon Stadium and a copy of Pokemon Stadium 2. <laughs> so in the one box, I got three games and not one, but two transfer packs to transfer your Pokemon from the Game Boy games into the 64 game. So I think that's worth having no inserts for. No insert, but I got three games, one of which is now on the floor, and two transfer packs. I think that's a pretty sweet trade right there. So in this lot of games came a lot of boxes, but with no inserts. Um, and they were all twisted and curled over. So as I'll show you here, I had these sitting under a stack of incredibly heavy books um, for about two weeks to flatten these out a bit. But all of these boxes have games to match. Um, and I've hit up Starboard Games, trying to get just some custom cardboard inserts. And I've got a couple of these plastic tray ones, which I actually don't know if they were legit or not. But I've got a couple of them. I'm going to get some custom inserts just so the boxes don't get flattened and crushed again. But I'll show you the games. Keep in mind, all of these boxes have the corresponding cards. We have Blast Corps, which is a great game. Star Wars Rogue Squadron. 007 The World Is Not Enough. This box is a little bit ripped, but once it's closed up, you can't tell it's got rips. 007 Goldeneye, the one everyone wants. Mortal Kombat 4, in pretty good condition. This was a bit of a heavy Mario Party. Um, game and box are in good condition. Army Men, Sarge's Heroes on 64. Extreme G, quite a cheap one. One that everyone loves, Diddy Kong Racing. Banger of a game, I'm surprised they haven't remade that yet. Banjo-Kazooie, another fan favorite. And Beetle Adventure Racing. So all of those boxes have the cards. Blast Corps, Star Wars Rogue Squadron, 007 World is Not Enough, 007 GoldenEye, Mortal Kombat 4, Mario Party, Army Men Sarge's Heroes, Extreme G, Diddy Kong Racing, Banjo-Kazooie, and Beetle Adventure Racing. Now they're all the ones that come with boxes and no inserts and no manuals. I have two more. Um, Quake also boxed. It came with no insert, um, so I got an insert from Starboard Games and they also happened to have for sale the manual. So I was lucky enough to pick up the manual and an insert so I can now list this and sell this as a complete inbox copy Obviously I'll mention that it's a custom insert, but a complete inbox copy, a little bit of a rip, so that one will go up nicely. And the last one is the one I'm most excited about. It doesn't have a manual, but I'm gonna track one down so I can list this as complete, because it's stunning and one of the best games ever made. The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask, limited edition gold pack. box is in really really good condition considering how old it is and how this bulk lot came about all just jammed in a tub but the game's in great condition the box is in great condition and the cart it's an Australian power copy as well which generally makes it a little bit pricier but it's in such good condition and the box is in great condition and thankfully I already have the game so I don't need to take this out of the lot which means I can actually make some money back off this one. But it's beautiful, it's in such good condition, and that's probably the heaviest hitter of a game in this lot, easily. Majora's Mask, boxed and complete. I'm gonna hunt down a manual, hopefully I can find a cheap one soon so I can list it and make some of this money back. 
And that is everything I picked up in the bulk lot off my mate Michael. Um, I'm so glad I have people like him around that if they see a lot come up, they mention me. They let them know that I will buy it off them. And I generally do. Um, for this whole lot, I paid $600. It seems like a lot of cash, but I think once I list it and sell all this, I'll make a decent amount of money back and taking out what I'm going to keep, I think I'll easily make back my 600, maybe another 600 on top, maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. But I think once I get off my ass and list it, um, I'm gonna make some decent money and have some new games to add to the collection. As always, internet people, thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Is that cool little song? Like, subscribe. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will catch you all in the next video. Take care.